Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Joe. Good to meet Come you, Joe. On. Oh. I'm glad you're a hugger. Come on in. <laughs> my name is Joanna Garcia Swisher, and I probably was most well known for my show um, called Reba, but I don't know that Tyler will recognize me. <laughs> I'm so excited. Oh, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, are you kidding me? I've been waiting for this moment forever. I'm all in. I'm a believer. Our family's experienced a lot of loss in the last few years, and so um, it obviously is very emotional and just really wanting that positive connection. So basically, I've kind of learned that oftentimes when people connect, they'll have messages not only for us, but for other family members. Yes. So that can sometimes happen. My husband's here. Awesome. And so. my best girlfriend. So. Oh, great. Yeah. Awesome. Anticipation's killing me. So people could come through for them. And so family is kind of an interesting term because when people get married, yeah. the, the, that person's family will also come through for the person they married into. Um, so that's always possible. And <laughs> yeah, basically the way that I'll do this, I'll hold into an object, okay. we'll see who we bring through. I always say an object to me usually helps the connection. Mm -hmm. It makes it stronger. But for me, anybody can come through, through okay. an object. So. I brought a lot for you. Great, I love it. How okay. much time do you have? I have, I have all afternoon, so we can be here for a while. Me too. Let's see what they are. Okay, <laughs> well, I'm like, how many hands do you I have? I love it. <laughs> wow, that is unique. Um, My goodness. I told you, I've I been waiting it. a really long time to meet you. Oh, wow, we're just going to like. Um, <laughs> not all at the same time. Do you want me to give them to you one by one? We'll do it one by okay. one. Or else I'll get into it. Right. Is there anything that you're drawn to? This one. Okay. I'm drawn to this, I think. I'm not surprised. This is where I'm going to connect. So let me see where we go. I'll just kind of channel all of what comes through. So let me figure out where we're at. I have this man that's coming through who's basically apologizing about the circumstances of his death. And this involved not just him. And there's an acknowledgment of this being considered not natural is the way that I would kind of word this. So okay. This is someone who acknowledged they lived like a pretty good duration of life, but yes. happened to die through non-natural means. Yes. So it's like if a six year or seven year old dies abruptly or you know, someone who basically got past middle age dies of something not natural. She knows exactly who that is. That's kind of the impression that comes through. Does that make sense? Yes. Cool. Give me one sec. He's having me bring up um, this woman coming through. He's like, they're coming through together, so let me figure out what this is. Okay, thank you. So there's a strong emphasis between these two, this man and this woman, and they come through as a single unit. Usually it means that like these two people would have been so close in life that their relationship and the way that they would come through would be like one person. This is gonna get emotional, dude. And the question has been, are they together, are they together, are they together? And he's, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, yeah. It's okay. Mm. I'm sorry. I just am having like an out-of-body experience. I feel like I just can't believe you. I understand, it's a lot to take in. But I want you to know that they're both coming through totally at ease and completely calm and at peace. And that's people's priority, so yeah. please know that. Okay. So what was his name and what was her name? Hector and Debbie. Nice. They were very close family friends. Their son is like my brother. Well, that's the thing. Family is family. So yeah. It is what we make it. Thank you, these two people. How old were they when they passed? They were both, one was in their 70s, one was in their 50s. They're placing themselves away from, from other family. They're not around people that we're close to at the time of passing almost. The feeling is like they I feel- They were alone. That's a weird situation. Okay. It's a weird situation. It's like, really quickly, do you know who they were giving money to? Because this is so weird. <laughs> I just hit you. They would have been either loaning or giving to some extent like money. And the feeling is like this person just keeps taking and taking and taking and they do not know when to stop taking this money. Yeah. And I feel like there is just not a sense of full resolve with this person, but it had to have been for so much more than just uh, just like money, it's, it's more than that. They're just bringing up this very toxic person. This person was very manipulative as well mm -hmm. and knew exactly what to say and how to say it to get these things. And what's frustrating in this way too is it's not like they were even giving like a ton of money in one setting. It's almost like, here's just a little bit, here's a little bit more. He was on the payroll, so. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but this is an individual that they're directly really blaming, blaming for. for... He ultimately, you know, was stealing from them and they were they were murdered um in their home so it's hard to understand why someone would be could be capable of doing something like that so it just felt like wow yeah makes sense well i think when they came through they really emphasized 
that they would have never seen murder as being an option. I... And it's like it just didn't have to happen that way. It didn't have to happen that way, that's for sure. There's a feeling of frustration with this person, even on the other side. And that is not typically the case. Um, they don't typically bring that forward. And I don't have to forgive him, right? No. Because I no. really don't want to. <laughs> OK. That's something that we can all obtain in our own time and mm -hmm. for ourselves. Or never. You don't. You really don't. Their passing of, of very close family friends of ours, it was really tragic. It's not always poetic and noble. And so I'm grateful that I could just leave my feelings about that I'm at peace with it. I could just leave it where they are. Um, to know that they're together is enough for me. Just know that they have a, this son figure that they're watching over, and they're, they're just, they're, they love him more than anything. Know that. Um, it's coming through really strongly. That's really, that makes so much, I mean, it was their world. He's like, they're everything. Mm -hmm. like... That's awesome, dude. That's so awesome. I'm like sweating. I love it very much. This is her bracelets. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, <laughs> they are together. They that's come through, funny. you know, loving you <laughs> so much and, and so happy when they come across. They but are. They're definitely together. And you know, I always say that. That's my, old, that was all I really wanted to know. They were dear, close friends of the family, known them my whole life, and um, met a very tragic end. And they went together. And I think for me, you know, not wanting to even go into too much detail, but just to know that they're together and they're in that way at peace um, brings me a lot of great, it brings me great comfort. You know, our families are sort of kind of come together and become family, real family for each other. You know, family is kind of what we make it to some extent. Yeah. And these people come through very loving, very yeah. supportive. They still connect to you. That's that wonderful. Well, right. thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank you. It's, so nice it's been so fun. You. Oh my gosh. Oh, you want to meet my husband? Oh, I would love to. Okay, good. All right, Jewish. come on in. Okay. <laughs> hey, hey. I'm a hugger too, oh, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, what a gift, bro. We're crying you. and everything. Oh, thank you. So How are you feeling? I feel great. Is that by far not like oh. the most amazing thing ever? And this is our best friend. Nice to meet you. Oh my gosh. I mean, I'm listening to all that and I'm thinking like Hector, which is like Joe's pretty much brother, which is one of my best friends, to get a little more closure to him know like, hey man, they're still around me. I think that's like, that's crazy. I'm so glad. That's why I think just oh. everything that's going on here today has just been so awesome. If Joe starts crying and I start crying, yeah, it's like good. I feel like what a gift. And Thank to be able you. to share that with people is so awesome. Oh, so I'm keep doing that. So thankful. I'm, I'm so glad it's that such a treat. we made Thanks sense. for having us. Yes. Yes. We wouldn't have missed it. Absolutely, man. It's nice to meet yes, you. Yes, and great meeting you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Tyler said something about when people pass over, it's not necessarily like my mother, my maternal grandmother. Our friends are our family, and you've got a lot of people in your village. So it's really nice to, to know that the village continues, and there's peace on the other side. Ah, that was amazing. <laughs> it was amazing. Totally exciting. <laughs> this is one of the few readings that I've done where someone's actually came through and acknowledged still processing their own feelings towards a living person. Usually they come through with complete acceptance and lots of love, but their murderer, they still have feelings for when it comes to frustration. And that's something that's kind of interesting. It's not something spirits usually emphasize.